this very good space tonight we were talking about empowering ourselves and forming the habit of putting ourselves first to take better care of ourselves so we can be that beacon of light for everyone else in their darkest moments and be there to freely give energy and we can't do that unless we have it so let's do our best to continually focus on just how powerful this energy is so let's breathe all that in and as you exhale i want you to imagine that you are in this beautiful space this beautiful open space and you are about to plant some flowers in a garden and you're kneeling there in front of the soil and you have a small shovel. You pick up the shovel and you're very excited because you have pictured in your mind just how beautiful this garden is. It's gonna be gorgeous. You picked out all the right flowers, you spent all the time, you sniffed every single one until you found the exact ones that you resonated with their energy. <clears throat> you pick up the shovel and you place it in the soil and you go to dig some dirt out and get a little bit, not as much as you thought. You thought it would be a much bigger shovel full of dirt. And then you try it again and again, you're not getting as much as you like. It seems to be that the earth is resisting you and not allowing you to dig this hole. And then on your third try, you hit something really hard. And you realize that underneath here, there must be a rock or something of some sort. And you're doing your best to dig around it and to use your hands to maybe separate the dirt, and pull the rock out, and you're feeling a little frustrated. And you can't understand why when your intention was to have this beautiful garden is that you feel so frustrated in the creating of it. And the more you dig, the more frustrated you get. And you dig harder and harder and harder. It's making it impossible to get this rock out so that you can dig inside the dirt and put the garden exactly where you intended it. And then, as it did tonight, it begins to rain. First, a few drops here and there. And then before you know it, it's pouring. It's a torrential downpour and you can't stand out there any longer. So you pick yourself up and you go in the house, change your clothes, get yourself a cup of tea and sit on the porch and just enjoy the sound of the rain and watch it as it's doing the watering for you, watering the lawn and the flowers and the trees and just really enjoying the energy of that relieving yourself of the frustration taking a break for a moment to just enjoy a cup of tea and enjoy just sitting there nothing to do just being mindful in that moment looking at all the flowers that you intend to put in this garden seeing all the beautiful colors, all the different textures, different sizes, different shapes. And you're still excited about it, but you start to wonder, why didn't it work out the way I planned? Why wasn't I able to just dig some holes, pop them in, and be done with it? And as you're wondering this, the rain stops. So you put down your cup of tea, and you go outside, and you assess what's going on and you look down and you realize that even though you were frustrated that the rain came and prevented you from digging this hole forcefully, you realize that the rain softened the dirt so that now when you reach down, you were able to just gently pull that rock right out of the ground all the other dirt around it was soft. So you pick up the shovel again and you're able to dig the hole so easily and you're excited and 
You're really mindful this time, touching the dirt, feeling it between your fingers, realizing that you are connected to the energy of this earth in so many ways. And thanking Mother Earth for providing you with the soil and the water and these beautiful flowers. And then it's time for you to pick up each one individually, carefully taking it out of the pot and placing it into its new home where it's going to bring so much joy to you. So every time you leave your house, they'll be there standing at attention, smiling at you. You tuck them in with the safety and the comfort of the soil of the earth, gently putting it around each of them. They're standing there, tall, standing at attention. You give them a little more sprinkle, just for good measure. And then you take a moment to thank Mother Nature for stopping you from getting so frustrated from taking something that was intended to be beautiful and making it into something challenging and realizing that sometimes you just have to step back and let things go and let the universe come and give you a hand, help you to soften things, help to make things easier and to stop using so much force to just be soft and open and yielding and allowing the solution to come to you, allowing that intention to happen. Because when we put in our order to the universe, we expect it right away. We have all gotten into the habit of same day shipping and we have that mentality that it will be same day manifestation that we can make something happen. So instead of trying to make something happen or force something to happen in our lives, how about we just allow it to happen? We're open to receiving it. We're open to an even better outcome than we could have ever imagined. And every time you think about this beautiful garden right here lined up in front of us, we remember how much easier it was when we were easy on ourselves. We took the time to be mindful. We gave up the frustration, we gave up the force, and we just allowed ourselves to receive. And that's a good life lesson too, that in all the giving that we do to others, allow the receiving too, not necessarily from them, but from other people, from the universe, from Mother Nature, from Mother Earth, Allow yourselves to be in receiving mode, which is so gentle and open and wonderful because you just never know what you'll get. So remembering the beauty of this space and how wonderful it felt to be in the energy of it and the creating of it, knowing that you can create this garden and you can create the life you choose by being open and allowing things to fall into place, making it easier for you to build exactly what you choose, where you choose to do it and how you choose to do it. Because life is your garden. And remembering how you feel and how everything looks and your own intentions. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, drop your shoulders down and as you do, just feel yourself coming into this present moment, wiggling your fingers and your toes. Remembering that when we step outside of this beautiful space right now, there may be some chaos. <laughs> there may be some things going on, but we don't have to be a part of it. We can remember how good we feel and how we are protected by divine energy and go about our business and go about the business of creating the lives that we so, so very much want to create and allowing that to come to you. And that is my wish for you, to live the life of your dreams. Mm -hmm. Now, don't wait. Feel how you feel when that life comes. And the more you feel that way, the sooner you'll get everything that you desire. 
So, until next time, have a most magical week. Remember that I'm always here sending good energy your way. And namaste.